morning everyone here from Jamaica we're in uh, Montego Bay and it's our first time in Jamaica it's been a long time since we've been in the Caribbean as well and I think this is our 41st country yeah 41st country together yeah together and I think it's like the fifth or sixth here in the Caribbean mm -hmm. yeah we've been to quite a few but we always enjoy this area so we keep coming back and we're staying in this apartment right here I'll show you better at the end of the video and got some views of the bay down there so we're kind of on a main road out here it's a bit noisy but inside not too bad a little pool there I think that's a different resort are about 10 minutes away from the main strip which is where we're gonna be heading so the places that we've been to in the Caribbean before uh, Puerto Rico which is part of the US right uh, Cuba Dominican Republic Curaçao and uh, Aruba So before we head to the beach, we're just heading to the downtown area that's very close because we want to get a SIM card and we also want to get some Jamaican dollars because we discovered pretty quickly yesterday that it's not good to use uh, US dollars. I'll explain why later. So we are in July which is the rain season. It said that the weather was supposed to be pretty bad today but so far it's looking pretty good. Right Not super bad. Hello. Right. Yeah. So we found the bank. I think it's called NCB Bank. Been here about 15 minutes in the queue. Almost there though. Man, so humid. Yeah, very, very hot and humid here. Yeah, I think this is the hottest month in Jamaica, yeah. July. Yeah. We've come at the hottest time. Right, let's see what the international withdrawal fee is like here. Is that it? Five hundred and eighty-five? Yeah, four dollar fifty. Okay. Not too bad I guess. So before we head to the beach, we're just gonna walk around the downtown area pretty quickly. I don't know what other chance we'll have to walk around the city like this. Alright, I guess we cross now. <laughs> so I'm guessing that this is where the majority of the locals work here in Montego Bay. So you have the colorful buildings like you see in a lot of places in the Caribbean. Some nice fruit. I think the square is just down here now. So this is the square that we wanted to come to. It's called Sam Sharp Square. They even got Popeyes here. I didn't know you had Popeyes in Jamaica. So this is one of the attractions here. Memorial for Sam Sharp, who the square is named after. So he was a slave that led like a uprising against the Brits, a national uprising, and then they eventually hung him around here, around this square. So he's a national hero now. That was in 1831. She's from Ghana. Yeah, Africa. She's okay. the only Jamaican national woman hero. We have seven heroes in Jamaica six men and one lady so this man sam sharp the name of this square is sam sharp square is that a bible yeah he was a preacher a preacher he was the founder for the second oldest church in montego bay and he was the preacher and that church was built 1824 okay so after he was murdered they say he was died 1832 he was hung right here in the fountain they hung him oh in the middle yes so okay. the name of this square it's Sam Sharp Square. He was 31 years of age when he was murdered. He fight for black man's freedom. If you go to the church, you will see all seven heroes. And the church open every day for visitors. Okay. Every day. That church was built, one was built 1775, one was built 1824. So one is 199 years old, and one is 250 years old. And they open every day for visitors. All right. So those are the nice historical place for you to go here in Jamaica. So this building here, we thought it was a church at first. Kind of looks like an old stone church from 1806. And it's definitely the opposite to a church because it was kind of used as a prison. 
it says that it was used as an overnight lockup for runaways, plantation slaves who had not left town after the 3 p.m. warning bell. So I guess they had a curfew yeah, and they get locked up in this place overnight. Now come to an area called Harmony Beach Park, which is a public beach because there's a lot of private beaches around here. So this is more for the locals. Apparently it's pretty new. It's like the last year or two that it was built. So we were just about to go on the beach and one of the guards approached us. So apparently on Mondays and Tuesdays, it's a no beach day. That's why there's nobody here at all because there's no lifeguards on these days. So they don't let you swim. Man, it's a nice beach too. That's a shame. So if we came yesterday, we could have gone to the beach. Yes, I know. And also tomorrow it won't be open, so we're gonna, gonna go to this beach. The only two days that we're here. The only two days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we'll have to go to another one though. I like what I see though. found uh, another area that's apparently a public beach called One Man Beach. Yeah, this looks perfect already. Nice. <laughs> yeah, now we're officially in the, the Caribbean. Yeah, this is even nicer than the, the beach park that we just went to. Just a few locals here. Haven't really seen that many foreigners, have we? No, we haven't. We were wondering if they stay all in the all-inclusive resorts and that's it. Uh, we'll see in the next days, maybe we'll see more foreigners. Yeah, because we walked around here yesterday and we barely saw any. Wow, this really is perfect though. Yeah, getting in there ASAP. How is it? Oh, it's great. <laughs> Yeah, after, the, after our Greek trip, uh, the water over there was still a bit cold because we were there in May and June. But now this is like really warm, but still refreshing, not hot. Yeah, this is how I remember the, the Caribbean. I think the water's like this pretty much all year round. Oh, what's this temperature? It's the kind of temperature that you can just stay in for hours. Yeah, uh -huh. perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing so far here though, in Jamaica. The people are so nice too, super friendly. Even the ones that are trying to sell you things, they're not that pushy really. They're still kind of friendly. When we say no, they usually leave. That guy at the, the square, he was like a tour guide. I ended up paying him a bit because he was, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. What he was telling us about the square. I like their accent too, so yeah, in Jamaica, their first language is English because they were colonized by the English way back but they have a really cool accent nice to hear
so we come to a restaurant now called Margaritaville at an area that's called Hip Street. It's like the main touristy area of Montego Bay. It's right on the seafront. There's even a water slide here. Maybe I'll do that later on. Then there's a little deck as well where you can uh, swim. So this will all be tourist prices. From what you said online, it's like a fusion of Jamaican and Western. Yeah, like American. Good. But I think you're gonna try a Jamaican dish, right? Yeah, I will do. The jerk barbecue chicken, island favorite. So that's $21.95. Will be more expensive because we're, we're here. Probably if we went to downtown, which was over there, we could find some like local cheap places, but we didn't want to walk back there. What are you getting? Do you know? Uh, I might get a fish sandwich. The island fish sandwich? Yes. Okay, $16.95. So I went for the famous Jamaican beer, Red Stripe Lager, brewed in Jamaica. 4.7% alcohol. That was $5.25, so... Yeah, definitely tourist price. I like the chunky little bottle though. Mm -hmm. Kind of different. Try it out. Yeah, like a, a light taste. I like it. Easy to drink. So here we have the big juicy chicken. Yeah, so this is the famous Jamaican dish. I actually had it yesterday at another place, but it was only like one part of the chicken. This is way more chicken. So they have this special sauce. That's where the magic happens. So it's like a spicy sauce. That's where the flavor is really coming from, the sauce. Really, really good though. You can see why it's the famous dish. I guess you're gonna have that almost every day. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and here I have my fish burger. So we come back to the same beach as before. Still not that many people here really. And you probably saw in those last scenes that I almost lost the GoPro. So I did the water slide without the selfie stick because I forgot to bring it. And then when I hit the water, it was too powerful. So the GoPro slipped out my hand. Luckily, one of the guys that worked at the bar, he swam down to get it for me. It was too deep for me to get it. And I forgot to mention the reason that we wanted to get Jamaican dollars. So it's because we went to a restaurant yesterday on the tourist strip as well. But in that restaurant, the menu was all in their currency, Jamaican dollars. It wasn't like the one that we just went to, that all the prices were in US dollars. So at the end, when we got the receipt, it was 7,000 Jamaican dollars, which online should be like 45 US dollars. But their US dollar price was 53. So it was $8 more just because of their exchange that favors them. So we paid for that with 70 US dollars in cash and we were expecting 17 US dollars back, right? Which would have been the correct change. But even when they gave us the change in Jamaican dollars, it only converted to about 13 US dollars. So we basically lost money when we were paying for it and even with the change, I think that was like 11 or $12. So we obviously don't wanna pay 11 or $12 extra for the meal for no reason at all. So that's why we got the Jamaican dollars in case that ever happens again and we'll just pay with their local currency and yeah, none of that should happen.
So we ended up getting a rental car for $50. A lot of the places that we were calling were trying to charge $80 or $70 a day. And we got it for eight days. So yeah, at least we got it for 50. Saved quite a lot overall. And we come to an area called Martha Bree or Martha Bray. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And we're gonna be doing river rafting, which is one of the main attractions to do here around Montego Bay. We're about 30 minutes away from Montego Bay. So you can already see how beautiful the river looks. Really nice shade of blue. Yeah, this is very similar to when we came to the Dominican Republic. The kind of trees and plants, lots of colorful ones, beautiful. So we got our tickets now. They also have a complimentary drink. Any idea what it is? Mm, some sort of juice. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like a fruit punch. Got the nice reggae music already. <laughs> yeah, this is just like a little souvenir area at the front. So if you're paying dollars, it's $90 for the raft, not per person. But we paid in Jamaican dollars, which was 13,050. But that's only around $83. So yeah, another example of why it's better to pay in the local currency. Yeah. That's one cool raft. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been on a raft like that before. Super long. Let me see any more up now. Off we go. Hey. <laughs> huh? Captain Wilkie. Wilkie. Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, you from? Brazil. Yeah, there is a real nice breeze on this raft right now. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost, lost my head. <laughs> I wonder if we can uh, swim or. No, I'm not sure. I mean, there's still quite a strong current. And this place looks magical. Though. Surprised there's not more people here. Yeah, we thought it would be uh, a lot uh, touristy and full of foreigners, but well, there wasn't many people around. Maybe the time that we arrived, I don't know. <laughs> Was well, it almost midday? Yeah, 11:40. Yeah, around lunchtime. Maybe that's it. Because this is supposed to be one of the main attractions around here. From what I saw online, though, there are a few places in Jamaica that you can do this kind of rafting. So not only if you're in Montego Bay, this is extra peaceful. You just hear the birds and the water. Here we got the Riverside tourist shop, souvenir shop. You can also buy some coconut too, little bar.
This is our banana, yeah? This one different color, purple banana. You can still eat it? Yeah? Purple banana. <laughs> So I think we're near the end of the little raft trip now. We've probably been here over an hour. Yeah, I think so. Very relaxing and calming. Yeah, you just go nice and slow. Definitely get your money's worth. Over an hour is a good amount of time to be on here. Back at the apartment now, I'll just show you quickly before we close out this video. So we paid 95 US dollars a night for this, like a simple little apartment. Looks quite modern on the inside though compared to how it looks on the outside. So got a little sofa area, nice big TV, bed's not too bad, pretty comfortable. And it's a AC room, definitely need that right now. And also got a little kitchen area where we can do some cooking here. And we're also able to do some washing up. So we'll probably make use of that too. And then they also included a ironing board. And this is the bathroom. Yeah, so on the inside it does look pretty new. So in the next video we're planning on going to a place called Ocho Rios, which is another famous destination. We're still gonna be staying here though. We're just gonna do a day trip. I think it's like an hour and a half, two hours to get there but we're still going to be staying around here in Montego Bay. So that's what's coming up. If you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.